Hi, everyone. My name is Sen Bai Kang. It's my pleasure to present our work here. My topic today is SIF, Joint Inference of Tumor Phenogeny and Variant Calling from Single Cell DNA Sequencing Data. Our whole story starts with the well-known phenomenon of intratumor heterogeneity. This phenomenon is mainly driven by somatic mutations, where you can see it in the picture marked with triangles. As time passes by, somatic mutations are accumulated and finally result in different populations of cells with distinct genotypes. Intertumor heterogeneity poses significant challenges to diagnosis and clinical therapy of cancer. The tool people use to study this phenomenon is phylogenetic inference, where we want to find the best phylogenetic tree that can explain the data. In our work, we use single cell DNA sequencing data which naturally allows for the reconstruction of cell lineage trees. We use row read count and input data in order to reduce the uncertainties introduced by third-party variant coding tools. However, single-cell DNA sequencing data is highly error-prone because of all different kinds of technical errors. For example, at the whole genome amplification stage, one leaves can be dropped out and never be sequenced. This is called allelic dropout or ADO. There can also be other types of errors, for example, amplification error and sequencing error. Moreover, in the real data set, missing data is also abundant. Therefore, single-cell DNA sequencing data that we use requires a specific model to take as input row rate counts and to properly account for technical errors. There are several tools to perform phylogenetic analysis. For example, BIS2. BIS2 has many advantages. For example, it is easily extensible. It has many packages for, for classical phylogenetic analysis. It is also user-friendly. However, BIS2 only accepts genomic sequences as inputs, and it is incompatible with single-cell DNA sequencing data. Therefore, it is necessary to have a new package of BIS2 to bring to, to the platform tumor phylogenetic inference using single cell DNA sequencing data. Now, let's move on to our SIF model, which is a shorthand for single cell evolution explorer. Due to the properties of the single cell DNA sequencing data that we use, SIF is the extension to classical statistical phylogenetic models. SIF contains a model of evolution where we model the evolution of single cells. We assume finite size assumption and we consider the following genotypes 00, 01, 11, and 11 prime. Here, Zero represents reference nucleotides. One represents alternative nucleotides, and one prime represents another alternative nucleotide different from one. Save also contains a model of row read counts, which accounts for technical errors. The specific data input format is row read counts of cell J at site I namely DIJ. It includes MIJ and CIJ, where MIJ is a vector representing read counts of three alternative nucleotides in descending order of their values. 
at CIG represents sequencing coverage. Therefore, the probability of observing DIJ can be decomposed into two components. The first component, the probability of observing MIJ given CIJ follows a Dirichlet multinomial distribution. And the second component, the probability of observing CIJ follows a negative binomial distribution. Moreover, CIF is implemented as a package of these two. In order to benchmark CIF's performance against other readily available published models, which are also applied to single cell DNA sequencing data, we generated some simulated data with different number of cells and mutation rates. Note that we choose one of the mutation rates to three times 10 to the power of minus five in order to generate enough number of homozygous mutation genotypes. The first thing we want to compare is tree topology using normalized Robinson force distance from true tree as criterion. Note that the smaller the distance is, the better the results are. We compare with CFID and SciFi. It is obvious that CIF outperforms both CFID and SciFi. The next thing we want to compare is tree branch lengths, where we use rooted branch score difference from true tree as criterion. Again, the smaller the difference is, the better the results are. We only compare with CFIT here because SciFi doesn't report trees with branch lengths. It is obvious from picture that CIF outperforms CFIT by a large margin in terms of tree branch lengths. There are also some important parameters that we want to compare. For example, effective sequencing error rate. We name it like so because it accounts for both amplification error and sequencing error at the same time. In the picture, the gray dashed line represents the real value that we use to generate the simulated data. When the mutation rate is relatively low, CIF is comparable with sci-fi. Once the mutation rate is increased, CIF outperforms sci-fi immediately. Another important parameter is idle rate. Again, the gray dashed line represents the real value. It is obvious from picture that CIF outperforms both CIFIT and sci-fi with rather accurate estimates with, with very small variance. Now let's move on to variant calling results. The first thing we want to compare is heterozygous mutation calling where the genotype is zero one. On left panel, we compare with monovar and sci-fi in terms of F1 score. Both sci-fi and CIF outperforms monovar by a large margin. If the mutation rate is increased, CIF also outperforms sci-fi. On the right panel is false positive rate. Monovar has a relatively low false positive rate, which is usually below 0.5%. For CIF, its false positive rate is slightly higher, but always below 1%. In terms of homozygous mutation calling, where genotype are 1,1 and 1,1 prime, we only compare uh, with Monova here, as sci-fi doesn't report homozygous mutation genotypes. Also, we 
exclude mutation rate being 10 to the power of, of minus six, because with this mutation rate, very few homozygous mutation genotypes are generated. Regarding FN score, CIF outperforms monovar by a large margin, with FN score very close to one. Regarding false positive rates, CIF always has false positive rates of zero, where monovar has a higher false positive rates centered around 2%. Therefore, it is obvious that regarding homo homozygous mutation calling, CIF outperforms monova. Next, we apply CIF to one of the real, real world datasets, which comes from colorectal cancer. In the picture on the right side, it shows that the original samples were taken from two geographically distant locations. And uh, in the picture on the left side, which represents uh, the phylogenetic tree that we take uh, from CIF, those single cells from cancer tissue one and cancer tissue two are well separated. As we expected, most of the mutated genes are residing on the main branch. We also observe some genes which violate infinite size assumption. For example, the genes of PINA7, it first acquired double mutation on the main branch where both of its alleles are mutated. Later, down the sum tree, it additionally acquired a back mutation where one of its alleles mutated back to reference nucleotide. Here is one colony results from the same data set in heat map. Note that in the real data set, it usually contains many missing entries. However, benefiting from phylogenetic model, CIF can actually correct those technical errors and fill up vacancies caused by missing data. Note that in the picture, those origin entries represent homozygous mutation genotype of 1-1. One, one. To sum up, save takes as input row rate counts, and it includes a novel model of evolution and the model of row rate counts. Because of those two points, Save can reliably reconstruct phylogenetic trees, estimate important parameters and covariants, especially homozygous mutation genotypes using MCMC. Last but not least, Save is implemented as a package of BIS2, which is naturally compatible with other features and packages. For example, by editing the configuration file, users can easily integrate other classical phylogenetic analysis into CIF. Finally, I would like to acknowledge my supervisor, Dr. Avash Turek, and our fantastic collaborators from ETH Zurich and University of Vigo. This project is funded by Horizon 2020 IT and Contra project. Thank you all for your attention. I'm happy to take questions.